Hi there, my name is Jason Brubaker. I run the website jasonbrubaker.com where I show you some really cool internet marketing tactics so you can live a more awesome life. And today I wanna to show you how to publish a guest article for your WordPress blog that is optimized for search engine optimization. Now, I broke this down into four, or I'm sorry, five very simple steps. Step number one is I'm gonna show you how to copy and paste the article. Step number two is I'm gonna show you how to pepper the article with keywords that are optimized for search. Step number three is I'm gonna show you how to add an optimized image to the article. Step number four, uh, we're gonna add these things called H2 headers to the article and I'll explain what that is when we get to it. Uh, some very important stuff there. And step number five, just as an added bonus, I'm gonna show you how to cleanly post your article over to your various social media accounts. So what I'm gonna do, I've in, in uh, Microsoft Word, I have an article that a guest blogger has sent me. Now, I run a very popular filmmaking website, and oftentimes I have other industry professionals that want to submit articles to me. I thought this one was pretty good, so we're going to go ahead and take it to publish. So it's very easy in terms of copying and pasting. I'm sure you've done this before, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click Select All. I'm, I'm operating on a Mac, but it's very similar on Windows. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click edit and copy. Now there are keyboard shortcuts for this and if you know them, go ahead and utilize them. If not, uh, you might wanna do a Google search for keyboard shortcuts, but that's beyond the scope and scale of this training. So once you have this copied and pasted to your clipboard, I'm sorry, once you have it copied to your clipboard, we're gonna go over to the WordPress site and we're gonna paste it. It's pretty easy, I just scroll over post, I click add new, and once I click add new, I'm gonna be given the opportunity to go ahead and paste the article. Now, in past iterations of WordPress, if I just simply pasted text from a Word document, it would pick up all sorts of gobbledygook and code and different things that you wouldn't necessarily need, and it would throw off the way your article looked within WordPress. So as a rule of thumb, one of the things that I do is I go ahead and paste it as text. Um, if you don't see this icon here, it probably means your toggle needs to be clicked, so first click here and then go over here to where it says paste this text and click on that. Once you do it, go ahead and go up to edit and click paste. And voila, here is your Word document that is now posted in WordPress. Okay, so once you've copied and pasted all of the necessary text into your WordPress uh, article, then the next step is to optimize it with the particular keywords that you chose. So in this case, the guest writer wrote about press releases specific for filmmakers. And in my case, I had to come up with a keyword strategy that would encompass just that. So I chose for my keyword, film press release. And because I'm writing this up here where you would normally write your heading in WordPress, uh, or your title if you will, I'm just gonna make this a very simple classic title. How to write a film press release. And as you can see, I have a tendency to capitalize uh, everything in my heading. It's just a style that I've chosen to utilize. It's a classic copywriting technique. So now that we know that I'm going to highlight the term film press release, the next thing I need to do is I go down through my article and everywhere the writer wrote press release, I'm going to simply change it to film press release. And this, my friends, is a very simple way to pepper an article with keywords without keyword stuffing. I may take a few of those out because it starts to get a little bit goofy. And one of the guides, one of the secret weapons that I utilize to test whether or not I'm going overboard with my keywords, oh, it's the SEO by Yoast WordPress plugin. And this allows me to gauge whether or not I'm overutilizing a keyword or underutilizing a keyword. So when I have this plugin installed, I'll go down here to where it says focus keyword and I'll go ahead and type in film press release. And as soon as I do that, this particular plugin scours my article to see whether or not I'm close to best practices in terms of SEO. And as you can see, uh, one of the things that's happening here is it's showing me the keyword density is point, uh, 0.3%, which is too low. The focus keyword was found three times. So what I'm gonna go up here and do is find other places where I can type in film press release. This is what I'll utilize and then I'll just keep coming down here to see whether or not I've gotten rid of that warning. And as you can see, my keyword density is now 0.6%, which is great. So now I don't have to mess with that particular 
uh, focus keyword anymore, film press release. So this is how you would optimize your article. You would utilize the SEO plugin from Yoast, install that, and then that's gonna give you a pretty good guideline. The other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to where it says permalink, I'm gonna click here, and I'm gonna use my keyword in permalink. So I'm just gonna call it um, film press release, I'm gonna click OK. And as you can see, when I scroll back down to my plugin settings, my slug has now become film press release. Okay, so I've given this some thought and I've just decided in terms of my meta description, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the first sentence out of the article and I've gone ahead and I've pasted it down here in the meta description. As you can see, it went from orange to green. And the other thing I did in terms of my title is it used to be how to write a film press release. I just added that gets noticed. So as you can see, just a few extra words help you hit the green bars on SEO. And then as I climb back up here, you can see that I've also put the title into the main title article, but I've kept the slug or the permanent link uh, exactly the same. So filmmakingstuff.com, film press release. And I'm gonna go ahead and save this draft. Once you've peppered your article with your keywords, you've adjusted your meta description, you've also have your title there, and you've adjusted your permalink to have a slug line that is in line with your keywords, the next step is to add an image to your article. Now, in order to add an image, I know there's a lot of people out there that utilize Photoshop and some of the more uh, comprehensive, in fact, complicated software programs. Um, my secret weapon is a company called Snappa, which they describe themselves as the easiest graphic design tool you'll ever utilize. And when I hop into Snappa in my account here, you can see that I can grab any sort of templates and quickly create uh, images for my blog article. So normally I would choose either a blog featured image or because I utilize Facebook a lot for cross promotion, I may choose a Facebook ad image. Now I already have some saved graphics that I've created through the years. And what I'm gonna do over here is hop into one that I utilize for my blog articles. And you can see that it's preloaded with the last article that I've saved. So very easily, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my title from the previous, uh, from the actual article that I plan on publishing, which is how to write a film press release that gets noticed. And I might actually change this around a little bit. I might, uh, you know, it's, it's all about trying to make it look good for the eye. So I think this looks pretty good, how to write a film press release that gets noticed. And then I'll go over here to my background image and I'm just gonna remove that background and I'm gonna find an image that looks like it, it fits my goals. Okay, in searching images, I typed in the word news and I found this image that seems compelling to me. So as you can see, once you click that image, it populates in the background. It already has my keywords, how to write a film press release that gets noticed. And one of the things I might change is the background just so I can see the words a little bit better. So I'll go over here to effects and I'll go ahead and just change my color overlay to make it a little darker in the background so that the words really pop. Because I want the words to pop, I want people to see what kind of article they're clicking into. So I've gone ahead and saved this at 40% here. I'm gonna go ahead and click download and I'm going to click on web optimized JPEG. Here's the, here's the other trick. I'm gonna go ahead and save this as film uh, press release. So again, I'm, using, I'm utilizing the same keywords that I used in the particular article. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this to my desktop. Uh, I'm gonna close it here, it's already on my desktop. I'm gonna go back to the post, and then I'm gonna find a place to plug it into my post. I usually like to go down two or three paragraphs and blocks of test, um, and then I'm gonna click on Add Media, and I'm gonna pull this off my desktop. I'm gonna click Select Files. I see it right here in my desktop. I'm gonna click Open. Um, and one of the cool things is it comes in because I've already saved it as film press release. You see the words right here in the title. I'm gonna move it down here to alt text and I'm gonna get rid of these under, underscores right here because this alt text is gonna be rated as part of your search engine optimization. I'm gonna insert this into the post. And then the other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, you can either choose to make these images clickable as in somebody clicks on it and, and they go to the big image, but I like to turn that off. So I, I go ahead and click on the image and then I click remove link and I just take that link out of there. 
And again, I click on it and I click remove link. And now we're pretty good. Somebody clicks on the image, nothing will happen. Now once I have this installed, I now have an image, but we're not quite done yet. The other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to where it says featured image over here on the right hand side. I click on featured image since this is already uploaded, it's pretty easy. I go ahead and grab the image, I set the featured image, and voila. Now we have the featured image and now we have the image within the body of the article. Okay, we're almost ready to publish the article. I'm just gonna do a final few things to clean it up and then get it ready to publish and then I'll show you how to get it out to social media. Right now I wanna add an H2 header to the article. H2 headers are a way for you to break up the article. Um, as you can see on its own, this is very, very dense with text and I wanna break it up a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on the title and I'm just gonna pull it down and this is a style thing but I really enjoy putting in the title right underneath the image. I highlight the image and then where it says paragraph up here, I come down to where it says heading two and I add that and that is an H2 header. And then I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna save the draft. Now I may refine the density of these paragraphs. I might choose to move, you know, maybe I wanna move this one down a little bit, which is perfectly fine. I just copy and paste it in. The other thing that I might add here is I might add some tags. There's some de debate whether or not tags are helpful or not. I just like them because it helps define what this article is all about. And then I can just add a few other things in here. I click add. Now I have press release, press, press release distribution. And if I really want to, I can come down here and write press release and then press release distribution. Once I have all of this, the H2 heading, I've typed in some tags, I've typed in some meta keywords here and my SEO plugin. I'm gonna go once again and save the draft. And now we find ourselves on step number five where we're gonna do one last pass on the article and then we're gonna post it to social media. So as you can see, one of the things that I've done is I've taken my paragraphs and I kind of made them easier for the eye. Uh, I took a look at my image here, that looks good to me. I got my H2 tag right in here. And then as I go down, you also see that I decided to bold some of these other standalone uh, section break. So I bolded that and I did it here and then I did it here. And again, all of this is so that it's easier to read for humans. As, and one of the things that I do before I hit publish is I go down here and I check my work with the Yoast SEO plugin. One of the ways that I decide whether or not this is ready for publication is I make sure that I have more green dots than red or orange dots. So go ahead and click publish, which I've already done, and you can test it by going to your actual main website. In this case, I'll go back to my homepage, and here it is, top article on my homepage. I click the link, and now I see the article, and it looks pretty good. Uh, scrolling down through here, looks great, easy for the eye to read. I think it's especially clean, so I'm very happy with this. I may go back because I'm very particular, and I might clean up like little areas right here, uh, to where, you know, this is called a hanger on and I hate hanger ons. I like it if it's at least, you know, almost halfway across the bottom. But again, that's just me. That's my own style. And truth be told, a lot of people read on mobile devices. So if it's optimized for mobile, it's going to look like this anyway. I probably went a little bit overboard there, but it's important for you to think about these things. So next step, I'm going to grab the link right here. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click copy. I'm gonna go over to Facebook where I'm already logged in to my filmmaking stuff page on Facebook and I'm gonna click, go up here and click paste. And now you see the article, uh, Facebook automatically pulls in the image, it automatically pulls in the title and the description. The last thing that I'm gonna do before I publish it to Facebook is I'm gonna highlight the title and I'm gonna go up here once again, I'm gonna click copy and then I'm gonna highlight this link and get rid of it by clicking paste. And now the title of the article is right above the image and then it kind of repeats itself down below. Now, you may want to add a different style to this, but in my particular instance, this is what gets me over time and over testing the best engagement. Then I click publish and right now this is completely live on Facebook. So once again, my name is Jason Brubaker. I'm at jasonbrubaker.com. Feel free to check out the site. You'll get lots of great tactics just like this. And if there's anything else that you'd like to learn, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video uh, specific to whatever you need to learn. Okay, talk to you again real soon.